Assalamu alaikum everyone this is me Naveez from grade 9 Birla Open Minds International School Papur and today in this podcast we have got with us Uruj Yasin Hello everyone I'm Uruj Yasin from grade 9 Falcon and today we're here to have a discussion on students life So Naveed what do you think a student goes through in his life Uruj in my opinion in my view point the uh, firstly the life of a student begins when the bag is put on to his or her shoulders it begins when the parents when the teachers when his relatives when his when the society especially the society starts expecting a lot of things from the kid or from the student the life begins from and in in his life onwards mostly pressure comes but definitely if the person or if the student focuses on his or her goal he or she is going to definitely be successful in her so navid please can you tell me about your first time experience in school you know it's it's a bit funny but you won't believe that when i went to school i was i was a bit scared that it was my first day and then i opened my lunch in the very first period and the ma'am came oh my god that you still do it oh it's the thing that it's the thing that we create memories in our school life it's the thing that we are going to miss these memories when we move on in our life that is the thing it's not about the lunch we open but it's about the memories we create yes. uh, what do you, what kind of experience you had when you firstly went to your school Honestly now we truly it was hilarious because when i used to go to school and when it was my first day i got into the corridor and i sat there and no one even noticed that a student is sitting in the corridor and it just continued for a week you must be lucky now today you are staying in a school like where home is for isn't it here as we can see Today we have mobile phones. We have a lot of facilities that our parents provide us. We have a lot of support that our we have got these good teachers. We have got these good facilities. Do you feel any struggle? Do you feel any dif- the struggle that our parents had did? Do you feel the difference in today's student's life and the life of our parents and the life that a student had in his in the old times? Now we truly there is a large difference between a student's life in today's time and in the old time like I still hear the stories from my father that how he used to walk miles and miles crossing the rivers and mountains to reach his school and talking about today's time we have everything we have advantage but unfortunately with advantage we have some distractions and in today's time students get distracted very easily they do not stick to their goal because in today's time as this is the age distractions come and student get easily distracted so what do you think that how can we avoid these distractions as a student see let me give you an example of a match stick a match stick is there for our for our good things to do good but if we lit the match stick and it can fire it can cause fire it can cause a lot of damage due to the small likewise the, uh, these bad things they come in our life but we have to we have to stay focused on our goal let me tell you how we stay focused it's the thing that we have firstly we have to set a positive mindset there are negative things but it has been rightly said that nothing can stop a negative thinker to think negative no there is no medicine in this world and there is no medicine in this world for a positive thinker to make thinker to make him think pos- negative so let's concentrate on the good things let's there is this mobile phone um, this is a trending trending distraction and we have got so many distractions in this mobile phone with this we today we have got the ai that's a great distraction we have got a lot of social media platforms but we have to set a mindset we have to set a positive mindset that we have to avoid these and nothing can stop us from if we don't avoid and nothing can stop us but at the end we are go, we are harming ourselves we are cheating ourselves yes. that's the thing what a great example it was navid navid do you think that teaching method in old times and today's time is different like there has been a, that that we know that there has been a change in teaching methods in old times it used teachers used to be strict but in today's time you can see teachers are quite friendly they understand students and they help them yes exactly 
it's the thing that the teachers of the old times they were quite good and the teachers today are also a very excellent if i talk about our teachers in bombers see the teachers uh, that old times they, they had they were very experienced they had a lot of experience and the students were quite they were quite they loving to their, their teachers and today if a teacher will scold a student the student will be saying oh no isne to mujhe mara ab main to iske ghar pe case karunga then tomorrow his father comes and says what what are you doing to my son at the old times we have seen the difference um, I, as i listen to my father that if a teacher scolds or beats a child no one was there his father was telling them usko aur maro like my says <laughs> i talk him that's the thing let me ask you something a student it's like a railway it's like a train a student's life is like a train yes. and his parents are the main source that the student's life is going on correctly do you feel that parents need and they like you said that mobile phone is a distraction we have distractions do you feel any difference that parents need to be involved in putting his or her child to good things yes like it is a role of a parent to look after his or her daughter son so that the person should not indulge into the distractions and in today's time we see that parents are quite strict they just look after that what their uh, daughters or sons are looking on to the their phones or what type of content they are consuming from the social media but somehow they lack to be honest they dis- disattach their selves from their younger ones how like in today's time you can see there's a lot of comparison to be honest like if a student is not good in maths but the student is somehow good in sports what the parent will do do you think the parents will support their child no on the other hand they will compare the their uh, son or daughter with another classmate of his or her son and will tell them you have to be like your classmate they top in maths they top in science but somehow they lack to see the talent that is hidden inside their child that they are interested in this and because of that what happens distractions come into a student's life a student thinks that maybe i am wrong and my parents are right so i think parents need to understand a little bit about their uh, we can say about their offsprings that how they can control them and how they can even un- encourage them in their dreams here comes the thing of competition here comes you have told that a lot of competition is there our parents compare us with so do you think that this competition is somehow good for us or we are like if my father or my mother compares with my cousin or some other person my classmate i start i i start feeling like are maine to kiya hi nahi kuch ye why why are they comparing isn't it yes Do you feel that this competition that our parents are doing that our parents are comparing us do you feel this is good somehow for a student to be honest competition a healthy competition is always a good one yes like for example i will give you my example if my uh, mother is comparing me to my classmate firstly i will not be jealous because that will be a negative competition and because of negative competition what will happen my mind get indulged into negativity jealousy so a student should always take competition in a positive way for example you are better in sports and i am better in maths we can together be friends and teach each other about our specific fields in which we are good so competition is good but a healthy competition is good. a healthy competition you said a healthy competition but if we can see in the society of kashmir what the society will demand you have to do that isn't it what kind of society what kind of clothes the society will demand you have to wear those clothes what kind of the things you need to do in the society what kind of things that it demands you have to do the same things isn't it do you think a person feel some pressure as there's a pressure on the life of the student a life of a student gets distracted due to the society yes navid like pressure from society is not something new it has been from ages and i think somehow it is good because when a pressure comes on to a person a person feels the pressure and tries to be better but 
there as i already said there is a negative aspect of a thing and a positive aspect of a thing so society somehow uh, gives the negative pressure but then it's us because we have to live in the society and society is not going to change firstly we have to take the pressure in a positive way for example uh, i have a pressure from society that i have to fit the standards of a society so i will do that but i have to see am i capable of doing that for example society expects me to be a topper but somehow i am interested in sports so i have to think about my talent what i am good in so navid what do you think about pressure so do you get affected by pressure from the society see it's the thing that recently in the world cup every team had pressure it's not <laughs> me who gets affected it's oh it's universally the, it's everyone who gets affected everyone is a human being it's not me who gets it's you it's everyone and the thing feeling the pressure inside you is a good thing mm-hmm. do you know do you remember dr shah faisal the i yes yes i know i was listening once i was listening to his interview and in his interview he said that once i went to dc office mm-hmm. and with my with his mother his mother was a teacher and he said that the policeman didn't allow me to enter dc office and then he felt the thing oh my god and he told them that one day i am going to prove that i you will you are going to salute me on this same very yes. gate the thing that he has got somehow he took it in a positive way yes way. he got, took the pressure he yeah. took the uh, like he took the pressure or we can say he took the policeman scolded him the policeman told him not the policeman didn't allow him he took it in a positive way and then the positive the same but navi don't you think there are some people who take pressure in a negative way they be like if there uh, had been another person who would not have been allowed to enter there the person would think oh my god i am poor i cannot go there maybe i should die and all those things so as i already said there are two aspects a positive and a negative one let me tell you one thing uruj what will you do if i give you a nail and a hammer and i will tell you to make this nail and make this nail enter into fence with this hammer hammer this nail into the fence hundred times what what are what will be the impact on the fence i think it will break it will break yeah if it it will not break there will be some holes on that yeah. the same thing here applies then if you if this, take this hammer as a pressure on yourself yeah. and take this nail on you, as you and take this uh, fence as your society when you hammer this nail in this fence a hundred holes may appear there but what is the fun of making these holes then you are you will tell that i am going to change the fence i am going to change the fence but what was the fun of hammering the nails then if you have to change the fence if you have to live like the society demands or if you have to if you don't have to live like this what the society demands if you have to ignore the pressure then why to take that it's the same thing that it's as i gave the example of this it's the thing that if you want to ignore you should ignore you should not take any pressure then if you take you have to follow that. and take it in a positive way yes, yes. Positive. but navid after all the pressure negativity advantage don't you think a student's life is a beautiful one because when we grow older a student's this life and this period of time is the time that we remember yes uruj i was thinking day before yesterday i was thinking that we are now moving to 10th then oh then then when we will leave this school inshallah then when we'll come back after some time then we're going to cry like the things that are cowed on our benches the those classes in which we used to take and we used to somehow take that lunch and and, we, and finish and it in, finish the, first it in the first class as you said <laughs> we are going to miss we are going to really miss that we are going to really miss our teachers who advised us but sometimes the anger issues of a student in today's times as i said we got, we used to be angry on those teachers and we used to feel like why are they scolding us but at the end of 11th they are scolding us for our betterment they are telling us something for our better yes and i do think that a student after all these difficulty should live his student life because it's not going to come back it's never going to come back and this is the beautiful stage of our life yes. in which we learn it's in which we get hurt but somehow we learn something new and we make friends which stays with us for a long time exactly 
see there you talk you told something about friends friends are the thing that we we have in our life but a good friend is only a friend who tells you the difference between the positive thing and a negative thing a good friend is a friend who tells you the difference between a good and a bad thing we have to make friends in, in this life to make our life beautiful because after qualifying some exam after being successful then the actual life begins then we don't get time to live our life then the work begins but this is the time we have to study i am not telling that we have to only enjoy our life we have to make memories only memories cannot but when tomorrow a person will be an ias officer an iit and a doctor then he will get those memories that i used to take lunch in the first class of it that is the thing that it makes the life beautiful but we have to also study we have to also work hard to achieve all so navid i have a question for you like there's a there's a famous saying that a person is known by the company the person keeps so if for example i will give you my example i am i am having some friends which i know is doing something wrong and they are indulged into something wrong so should i be friend with them or should i leave them I will tell you what's your opinion let me tell you one thing uruj if i sent you to a brick a place where bricks are made if you go i will send you suit like you are shining you have worn a suit you have wore a suit and i will send you there will you come shining from there yes will you come out from the place where the bricks are made you you somehow there will be a, there will be something that will be on your clothes that will be on your shoes yeah. a bad thing mm-hmm. a soil a piece of soil there will be now if i send you to a place where there is only glitter there is only shine oh. and you go like you go worn out like you go dirty there mm-hmm. then in the shine you will come out shining yeah. the same thing applies here if you have if you have bad things you will avoid them you will tell that ye to kharab hai mere mera kya jata hai mai char din ka dost hu iska but nothing somehow somehow he will affect you and one day you will regret if you have a good friend वो भी अच्छा है लाइक ही ही और शी योर फ्रेंड एज यू सेड आई हैव बैड फ्रेंड आई शुड लीव इट्स नॉट अबाउट लिविंग इट्स अबाउट मेकिंग हिम अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग इज रॉन्ग एंड दिस थिंग इज सो नवीद आफ्टर ऑल द स्ट्रगल डोंट यू थिंक अ स्टूडेंट लाइफ इज एन अमेजिंग वन एंड व्हाट इज योर एडवाइस टू द स्टूडेंट्स टू द यंगर स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर स्कूल दैट हाउ दे शुड लिव देयर स्टूडेंट लाइफ ऑल इट्स अमेजिंग दैट I haven't seen any kind I don't have any kind of experience but somehow I can say I can advise these younger younger buds the buds that we that are grooming in this in our school I can say that enjoy your life make memories I am not saying that eat lunch like I, I I eat in my class but make memories enjoy with your friends if your friend is wrong make him understand that bhai ye galat hai aur ye it sahi hai make him feel the difference he should regret that i have he should feel the difference that this is wrong and this is wrong. thank you so much navid so audience that was it for today hopefully you enjoyed this discussion